Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. As you might or might not know, I built my own milling machine a little while back. Although it works fine on aluminium, it doesn't like cutting steel. It is lacking rigidity in a lot of places, which makes it near impossible to cut steel of any sort. Also, I want to make clear that when I started that build, my situation was a little different compared to now, where I didn't really have a budget for projects like that, right now I don't mind spending some money on stuff I like to build. That's why I decided to make a new milling machine and, contrary to my first mill, I designed the entire machine in Fusion 360 prior to starting the build. The only part I am not going to make myself is the XY table. I bought and fixed up a cheap cast iron table from Amazon, because it's very difficult to beat cast iron for this application. Videos about this table can be found on my channel. Although the table was new, it really needed a rebuild straight from the factory. In making my new machine, I included all of the knowledge and feedback I acquired while working on my first milling machine. Some big differences are the ISO 30 taper I will be using combined with huge tapered bearings. Besides that, I decided to ditch the quill on my new machine. Instead, the wall head will move up and down for drilling operations. A big part of this machine will be made from sheet metal, which is laser cut and folded when necessary. Of course I could make these parts myself, but I will be outsourcing it to a laser cutting company, as a substantial part of my side job involves designing things out of sheet metal. Sheet metal is widely used as it is relatively cheap compared to casting or machining while delivering tolerances between 0.2 and 0.5 mm, depending on the machines they use. As I said earlier, this machine does not have a quill. I think the pros of not having one overrule the cons. Saying that, the spindle is easily removable, so it's possible to make a new spindle with a quill if I really need one. The spindle is the last thing I will start working on, and I will feature it in a different video. With 750 watts, the motor is not that powerful, but I prefer having high precision over high metal removal rate. Using a VFD, this motor will directly drive the spindle via a belt transmission. I want to put stabber motors on all three axes. For power feed, which also makes it possible to have a semi-CNC machine, but more on that later. In the 3D model, a stabber motor is already inserted into the headstock. This motor drives a worm gear transmission that is connected to a gear that can be clutched in and out in case you want to use the handlebars, as you cannot back drive such a transmission. At this point I finished 99% of the 3D model and I am currently working on making the drawings for producing the parts. Luckily I have access to a lathe both at work and at university. For the smaller turning operations I can use the old mini lathe I just fixed up. I know not everyone has a lathe nearby, but if you can find the right place or person you might be able to do some turning work for projects like this. Here you can see the purchase list of my new mill. I don't have a quote from the laser cutting company yet, 
but I think this build will add up to about 900 to 1000 euros. My own time not included, obviously. Of course I could just go and buy a machine, but I chose to build my own for several reasons, such as I like designing and building machines like this, and I can make them in the exact size I want. Designing a milling machine enables me to very easily add features like power feed and a control unit to move the machine around on itself. I am convinced that this machine can do some serious work once it is in working state. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you happen to be interested in any of the CAD drawings, I might be able to arrange something to download the drawings for free. I am really looking forward to starting this build. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.